Hello guys and welcome back to the Creators Cup, so 1v1 tournament where we have 16 great creators and today we are going to see a battle between Radures and Lucas how to wipe. So the great rivalry that you could see on the match of 1v1 religious wars over here. This episode will be shorter because I wanted to minimize the amount of the content about the preparation of the war and maximize the war, so let's get to this. Okay, Lucas, uh, heads or tails? Tails. And this is actually Tails. So, Lucas, you are choosing uh, either if you are going uh, which nation will play or who is going to attack. Maybe I will prefer Ultra Prussia. Okay, so Res, you are choosing who is going to attack. I'm going to attack. Alright, I like this. Attack is better. Five minutes from now. Lucas is starting with starting with building forts. Okay, uh, so this will take some time. Uh, while Res, he started with building Spaniards with Lucas and embargoing his rivals. Uh, he embargoed too, and the third one will be Lucas. Lucas, uh, yeah, he's doing all most of his force already. Did he just cancel everything? I guess he changed his mind. Okay. <laughs> so everything here is alright. Uh, this is not taken yet. This will be probably the first thing to take care of. And if you look on the buildings, yeah, I think these kind of forts are just perfect. Because what you need to do with your forts, yeah, I think this is good. What you need to do with your forts uh, is to block your enemy from uh, going around the fort and stacking your troops without the full back of artillery. That's what the rest did here. Uh, well, Lucas, let's see what Lucas did. I think, yeah, Lucas did probably almost the same, but he left a huge uh, chunk of Polish land open for siege. So if I would be rest, I would be starting with this, because this is all without any forts. I think Lucas is a little bit too slow with his, uh, with his moves, he's already 3 minutes, and he probably lost too much time on the buildings, in my opinion. Now, uh, Radius, he did everything right, he has 83% of the nobility land, 1% of the crown land, and so thanks to it, he's getting 83% of the manpower from this. Now he's building uh, town halls, one more minute, uh, until we'll be on pausing. Okay, here, not this is not taken yet, uh, advisors are good, uh, this is taken, it's alright, uh, yeah, now the estates, estates are the, the crucial thing before you unpause. Did they take care of the st uh, state addicts? Uh, Lucas don't have them yet, uh, they both don't have that yet, don't forget about addicts guys, they are a little bit slow with all of the things, and we are going to start in 10 seconds, 10 more seconds until unpause. Oh, he took the protect trade by a mistake, I think. Okay, on post time. There we go. Now Radiores will have to attack in uh, the mid of 1447 and before general 1448. He finished uh, the state edicts a little bit late. In my opinion, it's, uh, the state edicts are more important uh, to take them first than, for example, town halls. Town halls, it's okay, they were built anyway. Uh, this is important. Each month lost with less manpower is very important. So Radius has a uh, good number of hits, 1.1 and 8,000 and 8.3 monthly, while Lucas is having 666,000. Oh yeah, Lucas uh, took care of that, and now he's going to take prestige from the Mulgars, and he needs to remember to increase his crown lands to 1%, to, because if it's 0%, you're getting 0.4 monthly autonomy, it's, uh, and when it's 1%, you're losing 0.1. Now Lucas has 1,012,000. Trade doesn't matter, because both guys have 500,000 ducats and 50 income, and uh, trade centers are just disabled, just bronzes from the trade centers, because you can remember that level 3 inland trade centers are giving 33% manpower in the, in the state. So this is uh, this is equalized, nobody is getting that. But what is important, that from the, the trade you can get this, so spine network con construction on your enemy. I think the most important things from the checklist are done by both of the guys. So Res is right now building ramparts, once he finishes with the town halls you should build the ramparts, because as you remember, uh, ramparts, are giving one attrition to the enemies. Of course, Res is attacking, so in a perfect scenario, he'll not need that. But in case, uh, if uh, Lucas will be pushing him, of course, this is uh, what you need. Well, Lucas, uh, he also is building ramparts. Right now, <laughs> just started doing so. Also, dev wants to get on the fifth place. So, if Lucas wants to get uh, more power position, too exactly, he needs to dev uh, above Austria, Austria right now. Have you guys considered Aromba as well? Yes, we invited Aromba, but because of his personal stuff and CK3, and that he's hyped a lot for, uh, he couldn't join us. Yeah, in the next month, he'll be able to slack and recruitment. Well, you should build Marex ASAP. Like, you should do it uh, after slacking the, for the first time, because 
You are drilling your armies in order to get uh, army professionals. He got it 0.38 already from drilling. And now, when he recruits the mercenaries, you lose all of it. So it will be just wasted. 1447, so it's the year of the war. We'll be starting soon. Let's uh, get this 1.5 million from uh, Radires and 1 million from, uh, from Lucas, but he still didn't build the mercenaries. Like, it seems like the setup will be very close between those two countries. And what will decide here, what will be the deciding factor, will be the moves in the war itself. Looks like Lucas is taking the last preparations. Still didn't build the mercs, did he? <laughs> Maybe he forgot about mechs. It's July, so they might start the work in the next month. Uh, on this on the position, I would already take the policies and... Maybe didn't do this not yet, just before the battle. Uh, yeah, just I hope they will not forget about that. Uh, Lucas seems like he's this one minute behind that wheels. Uh, this, this first minute that he spent on building buildings and then canceling them. Now it hurts him because it's uh, slowing him down. And he is just missing over here to build the mercs. Now the, if I uh, were a address, I could I would first of all infiltrate the administration before starting the war right now. And I would see that Lucas is standing with a bunch of troops without artillery here and without a protection of the force. So it's an easy kill, same like for those free that. All, all of those stacks might be stack wiped if uh, uh, Lucas will be too slow with action. He still didn't build the mercs, Lucas. So what's what's up? What are you doing? No mercs. The war started and Lucas doesn't have mercs. Uh, it looks like a massive panic on the Lucas side. <laughs> yes, this is definitely a massive panic. If I were Lucas with this stack, I would go straight for these highlands to just uh, kill the reinforcements. Why are you going here? Like, okay, so this is also not a bad decision because he's going to catch like 300, 400,000, but he needs to reinforce that right. Um, and just kill this 40k. This is an easy kill. This is an easy kill. This is an easy kill. You have four uh, artillery stacks. You should use that. It looks like Lucas is a little bit behind with this decision. And this is just a massive panic. And he still didn't get the marks. Yeah, now he organized himself. And he's going to do so. Just in the meantime, he should... Uh, like, this is a free kill, for example. This is a free kill. And... Uh, well, we'll see how we do. Uh, he's playing something, but this is uh, this is a mess. Lucas, uh, just take this stack and yeah, yes, 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 yes. kill him. Uh, did he take? Uh, he didn't take the policies. Rather, let's take the. Oh no, Lucas didn't remember the policies. Oh my God. Uh... He's losing the battle even though uh, Radius is fighting without artillery here. <laughs> this is Levy exception, but this Levy is having artillery combat ability. Oh, oh Lucas uh, won here and he's catching all the stacks. Good, but he'll run, run away from this and this is getting stuck right on the other hand. Well, both guys are doing a lot of mistakes. Lucas know what he's doing, but he, because he was uh, lacking a lot of time. Because, you know, he was uh, too slow with the starting things, he probably didn't practice enough. He forgot about a few things, like mercenaries, he forgot about the policies, and then, before he, he was able to prepare, he was still in the middle of preparing everything, uh, Radirus attacked him, so it was just a massive panic here. Now what he has to do is just take his time, it's okay for uh, uh, Radirus to occupy a few provinces, take his time, organize the troops here, and attack, because Radiores was also doing tons of uh, mistakes with placing his armies. This is a lot, this is a lot of attrition! <laughs> oh yeah, you can see, Hanford, it's like 1.3 moral difference. Lucas can't do shit with this difference, and he also has still Manpower Advisor. Moral Advisor, Manpower Advisor, no policies. This is the biggest difference, because on army management, on both sides, it's, it's not the best right now. I wanted to say shit, but it's just not the best right now. And it's against Zlevik versus Zlevik, but this Zlevik is better. This Zlevik has artillery combat ability. Oh, I think he took the policies now. Yep, there goes the policies. Alright, this is good. So now it should be better. But the problem is, before he figured out that out, he lost 700,000 troops in, uh, in the battle. So 200,000 more than Ultra Austria. And this might be crucial for this uh, for this thing. If you go to the armies, you can see this. there's a difference in the numbers here. In my opinion, it's not GG yet, because this placement of the troops by uh, Radiores are terrible. So if you use, the, like, the thing that, uh, in my opinion, Lucas is doing right now, he's rushing things too much. He's the defending side. Look, Radiores didn't stand on a single fort yet. A single fort. Didn't see a single fort. Even He didn't even stay for one day in any fort. Lucas is rushing all the things. Berlin is okay that he attacked here, but he attacked again with not enough of infantry and uh, this 
Carter might go to the first row soon if he doesn't reinforce that. Radius make uh, made his mistake here going into Berlin with 260,000. That's way too big stack, and he's fighting on minus two. No, uh, like. Okay, uh, Lucas know, knows that he, he should cut off the reinforcements, what, but he, he, what he doesn't know is that uh, Radio is having reinforcements from two sides. Well, he should know that because he, he could see that. But if he went here with, for example, this, this stack and some reinforcements, he could have won both battles because Radio is starting on both of the battles with way too many troops. And uh, he, you know, he's just his reserves are just fleeing from this battle. Yeah, Lucas. Now Lucas has way too many troops here. Two hundred thousand reserves. These two hundred thousand reserves. If you look on the morale, it's going down because nine point eight, nine point seven eight. It's going down even though they're not even doing anything in the battle. What would make sense is getting second stack and going here into Nottage, into woods, where Radio is also standing a huge stack that he cannot really reinforce anymore. My bet. Lucas is going to win that because Radios doesn't remember about 140,000 of his troops just sitting on the asses. This will be the difference. Radios made mistake that by he went through from with his troops from here to here. That's because of it he cannot reinforce this battle, and now just uh, Lucas needs to maintain his troops here. Uh, and but he's not reinforcing; he might lose it. Look, he has no leader, and he, he's running out of yeah. There it goes. But this will be close. And those guys might go here. So, yeah, I think Radius is going to win that. How close is... No, he'll be on time. With reinforcements. Yeah, I, I think this was a mistake. This was an overkill. As said, Lucas is rushing things too much. Oh, okay. GG. Like, what did you do at the start, Lucas? I misunderstood 47, 48. Uh, I was thinking I have uh, one year for uh, preparation. Ah, okay. But yeah, it's like, you first need to build some buildings and then cancel them. Hey. Because I have a really big luck on early uh, starts and I have, have a sure that I click Fortress and uh, on the list I can I saw that I built manufacture on this uh, province. Okay. It was kind of weird for me. Also, Radius, 400k stacks are also not the best idea. Yeah, I am not good at microing, so I was like, I need to fix this, and I was looking at it, and then, well, there was just constant uh, battles, one after another. Radius, uh, heads or tails? Heads, please. It's tails. So, Lucas, you are choosing either uh, a country or who is going to attack? Uh, I will attack, now. Alright, nice, I like it. And you guys should also change the countries. <laughs> Please. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? All right, uh -huh. perfect. I like this. Okay, guys, five minutes. Lucas, well, he's building the force. Yep. Like, to be honest, uh, instead of Maramaros, uh, I would pick uh, Beckes or uh, Samogi or something like here. I prefer to have this this space covered because if your enemy takes count, he is, has open way to get here uh, for all of your reinforcements. You already lost five freaking amazing, enormous amount. Ah, the difference, 0.6 thousand difference, so this will be, this will be huge. Yet this time, uh, I think as Lucas will do the, his things on time, it will be closer, you know, matchup. It's 1 million and 80 thousand of uh, Ultra Prussia and 1 million 40 thousand of Ultra Austria, but the difference is, you can see, the same difference in the manpower practically. Yeah, this is a uh, perfectly balanced setup right now, guys. I'm happy because uh, in theory, this should be uh, this one v one should be mainly about the uh, the battles how you manage during the war, a little bit less about managing your country to prepare for that. Of course, it's also important because there's a lot of things that you can re uh, forget about that. But here we have perfectly balanced setup, and both uh, both guys should have uh, exactly the same chances of winning that. Oh yes, that's. That's, that's not Prussia, that's Austria that, uh, caught, being spying, that caught spying, so he'll not infiltrate the administration of Prussia. To be honest, my money is on the attacker again. So my money is on Lucas. This will be 1-1 one, uh, one, one, and we'll be seeing the, the third one, which will be crucial for who is going through and who is going to fight Flurry Worry in the second round, in the quarterfinals. It more looks like Lucas is preparing to attack Ultra Byzantine than <laughs> Ultra Prussia, as you can see. There we go. The war goal here is to take Novi Sanj. So this province here and he's going straight here. He'll be here before... Uh... Uh, 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 did he take the policies this time? 
No! Radios don't have to... Ah! <laughs> now it's the other way around! Radios forgot about the police is why, why Lucas is hanging them. <laughs> I love this encounter, guys. This is so beautiful. <laughs> Slavic is just getting slaughtered here because of that. But Lucas is uh, throwing too many troops at once under this battle. No policies and manpower here. Morale and all the policies. Like, there's absolutely no chance that Radures can win the battles here because of that. And what's uh, very interesting here, Lucas is doing, he's going around to attack... I would try catching someone here, because he could go here and catch all of those strikes without artillery, but instead he's, uh, he's attacking here. But it's not a bad decision, because he still has advantage of the... Uh, army quality. What it means? He should engage as many battles as possible at once to get as much war score as possible. By the way, 800,000 in one promise. Oh, my my attrition. This hurts. One million of heals. This is this is absolutely fine, guys. Just, just nothing to watch here. Okay, Radius took the policies already. So yeah, the advantage of Lucas is down. Radius forgot about one of his stacks again. Lucas didn't do so. And yeah, he do, it was a very good decision to attack here because Radio was staying here with 250,000 troops, which is way too many, and this was a good decision. Uh, he should reinforce, yeah, good. If he goes here, yep, this is rip for Lucas stack over here. Uh, but Lucas, uh, this will be close. This will be close. Slavic against Slavic, and guys, it's it's confirmed. Slavic is the best general in game. I'm sorry. This will be close because of this. Oh, okay, he ran away. Radius, this is a stack, a stack wipe. But uh, yeah, Radius is winning here. This was uh, not that wise decision to go here. And Radius also winning here. Even though he forgot about the policies at the start. No! R R Lucas won here. Okay, I was, I'm just a bl I'm blind, guys. Lucas won this battle but lost this one. But Lucas, uh, and Lucas stack wiped a few stacks here, but Lucas, is, he, Lucas just lost the artillery stack. If you look on the losers, it's 870,000 both sides, so it's. Perfect, still perfectly balanced, but Lucas lost a hundred thousand more on attrition. If you look on the armies, if you can see already it's on the numbers. Uh, it's both more manpower and uh, more troops on the side of the Prussia. But Lucas probably can slacken in a second. He can already slacken. There it goes. Now the manpower is already also perfectly balanced, and he shouldn't st stand here with 230. Yes, yes. Okay, Radius would like to keep it perfectly balanced as well. That's why he sent two man troops as well. Alright, so this time you can see it, it's perfectly balanced on the army stats. It's just Lucas says, was standing here with 8,000 cannons and he didn't shift console before the battle. So Radures is having at the start of this uh, slight advantage. It's Radures standing with 600,000. Why 200,000? Yeah, Res was late with... Uh, good. Uh, good. <laughs> good, this will be close. Res was late with reinforcing this. If Res uh, wants to continue this battle, and he shouldn't, he should go with this whole stack into this. Uh, he could also, yeah, just run away, for example, here. Attack with another stack. Scorch Earth, Scorch Earth, Scorch Earth, Scorch... No, 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 don't do this! <laughs> he was sending 300,000k here. What, what is this battle? This is some new meta. <laughs> okay, now it's 260k fighting uh, 11k. Looks like Lucas is getting some advantage this time. If you look on the losers, it's... Uh, I will be thinking it's here. It's 1.2 million on Austria side, 1.3 million on uh, Radures. And on attrition it's really close, so it's in general very close in everything. And on the, army, on the armies, it's also close, it's just 30,000 difference. I love this, it is very close. Even though they make some mistakes, it's, it's not perfect with the movements, but it's close. And this is the most important, both guys are 100% having a lot of fun. Well, if I was Radures, I would just take these troops and attack here. So Lucas will be not able to reinforce this battle. And uh, Radures would win this, and then he would won, win this. Res, have some bolts, attack Kraków. Because he can attack Kraków, right? Of course he can. Go! We can do this! Mm. <laughs> do this! Yes! This was me, definitely. I clicked this. And Lucas managed to run away from this battle. With most of the troops. So it's okay, but uh, yeah, it's some comeback from Radiorest right now. And if you look on the losers, the number. Oh, Lucas lost so much on those two battles right now, on those mistakes. This might be hard to come back from. It looks like uh, Lucas needs to really reorganize his troops. Uh, he couldn't rush his things. He'll be able to uh, infiltrate administration in a second. Mm, and it's still. I think he still can win that. 
there is some difference here. It's mainly because of the stack wipe of mercenaries. And you can see this. Lucas has just... Uh, oh, he's going with all the artillery in, in 60,000 of artillery. Lucas is getting uh, his ass kicked a little bit. It's 8-3. What about? It's 5-6 against... Yeah... Prussia is having a better general. That is giving some fire. Artillery in the first row, alert! Uh, yeah, this will, after this lose. Oh, yeah. He decided it's, it's GG. GG, this was ultra close. Until oh, until the battles in Shiraz and Vilnius, this all was so extremely balanced. We both guys had same amount of the troops, same amount of the manpower before the war. During the war, you're losing the same amount of the battles and the same amount on the on the attrition. Yeah, good. Uh, well played, man. This game was super close. I was a little worried um, when I lost that first battle and I, and a couple of my armies got stack, stack wiped, including yeah. like there, there were 20 yes. uh, cannons in there. Because you forgot of the poises. Yeah. Lucas, well played, man. Not really. I, well, first first game was a little bit more lopsided. This game, I was actually worried about it. Few times. I have bad luck because I haven't had infiltrate administration on this. Yeah, yeah, uh, this is also like okay. some difference. Yeah, that is big. I got it before the war started. Actually. Okay, guys, this is all. This was just very close and amazing battle. I absolutely love this. And if you love this as well, just remember to give a like and comment on this video and subscribe to the channel to be modified about the next video. So, for today, thank you so much for watching and see you soon.